Okay, today guys we're gonna talk about the biggest in Europe fragrance fair. Uh, I should have done the contrary. The biggest fragrance fair in Europe, right. I've been to Essence in Milan, in Italy, during five days, five very long days. I can tell you now what are the best thing to do and the thing that you should avoid doing if you're going to a fragrance fair. Essence survival guide. Let's Okay, you may ask, but Clemence, why would I go to Milan in Italy in Essence? Well, you have more than 360 brands. If you're passionate about fragrance, you're going to discover a lot. You're going to see your favorite content creator or brand owners or anything like that or perfumers. So I think it's a great event to do at least once. So you're going to fly to Italy, Milan, which is not my favorite city in Italy. I have to be honest with you, to be honest. Um, but there's always nice spot to visit, of course. Rule number one of going to Exence, you need to book an hotel that is close to the convention center. Because otherwise, trust me, this is going to be a lot of transport and this is not going to be the best for you. You're going to be very tired, especially if you stay a few days. 2024 theme of the year was a little bit more floral and less disco than last year, I'd say, which I definitely prefer. I think it was really pretty. Rule number two of going to Exence, you need to come early, otherwise this is happening. Uh, yeah, and even if you come early, to be honest, it can be quite crowded. So just make sure you arrive in advance or you're ready on time because otherwise the afternoon is packed. Which brings me to rule number three, that is definitely get yourself ready for the event. Prepare yourself, prepare, prepare the appointment and the brand that you want to see, contact them before if you're a content creator. If you're not, you can just go like this, but prepare wh which brand you want to see. One of the mistakes that I did previously is to book too many appointments on the same day, to literally overwhelm myself, running everywhere, looking for this, looking for that. Rather than this time, I took a day with no appointment where I was smelling some stuff or um, and I took maximum two appointments during the day so I had the time to walk. Rule number four, book everything online in advance in the website of Essence. There's three professional days and one for the public. So make sure you check that before. Rule number five, go for your loved brand first because they might have some new fragrances launched and you definitely want to connect if you're a content creator as well, even more. He's my personal favorite. Jovoy, a fragrance brand and a fragrance retailer. That's the new baby that is going to launch soon, like a freshie. You're going to love that. Anyway, I advise you to always go to check them out because they're amazing. I also want to advise to go to see Majorie. That is an affordable niche fragrance I always talk to and they're going to launch some amazing vanilla during the year, apparently, which is exciting. Of course, my brand of heart, L'Orchestre Parfum. It's amazing because you can actually listen to the music at the booth. So I recommend you always go and check them out. They are absolutely amazing. Le Jardin Retrouvé, that is my peaceful garden and moment. Love them. And they're launching a new fragrance. We're going to see that after. And uh, Electimus, of course. Electimus did also an event during the fair. They bring Julien Raskinet, the perfumer, the star perfumer. And look at me. I was so shy to go and say hello. I didn't want to disturb, but yeah. <laughs> He created a new Cupid Kiss that I'm going to review soon. No worries. Also, I love Lorga Parfum. It's one of the first brands that I reviewed on my channel. Ambre Platine is one of my favorite. Amber Caramel, very classy. And I've got some new things to show you. EPC is my latest crush in terms of fragrance brand. This brand is everything. And you're going to hear much more about this brand very, very soon. I'm going to launch a video on it anyway. And of course, the fancy Alexander J. That is one of my top favorite brands in such a long time. They are going to launch some exciting bougie things. Look at this. Rule number six, after you've done that, you definitely want to try some new fragrances. Exence is full of fragrance brands are for all from all over the world. This is one of my favorite, Boho Boko from Poland. I will talk to you more about this brand soon. You have also one of my top favorite, Place Dailies, that is a French brand from Saint-Tropez. And the fragrance is so good. Supers from Budapest, of course, Edwin being Hungarian, he felt no more that we tried the only Hungarian brand in the fair, Lorenzo Pazaglia, as usual. Pazaglia, honestly. 
really like uh, the fragrance. You're you recording what I say. If you're looking for super strong fragrance, these are the best. I love Lorenzo Pasaglia. And you have Jason from uh, Japan that is super cool as well. Panadora from Sweden. Elixir from uh, India, I believe. This is one of the brands I always go to when I go back to Exence. Uh, this is really a super qualitative brand, luxurious fragrance. And actually, they are launching this collection that are, is more affordable and it's filled with golden flakes it's really pretty and the bread owner is so amazing they're also planning to launch this year a huge collection of wood and they are very pleasant rule number seven you need to seek for the creative stand as you will see some amazing stuff at essence for example fugazi with their poolside stand it was not my one of my favorite to be honest with you but uh it was you were testing the ladder or? yes i was planning to climb on the top and then do like some dance lecture with my grand cinema some brands does a lot of effort into the booth, like state of mind with this super art deco feel. And sorry, I couldn't really film as it was Saturday and it was really busy. <laughs> Amazing. And then Welton, that is this super classy English brand, but made in France. Many new things coming, many things to talk about. Anyway, it will come soon. Step aboard. What a great brand. Look at this. Like It's like you're tagging a wall, but the fragrances are so great, fresh, uplifting. I love them. Oh, talking about brand, I need to talk more about. Look at this Atelier Materie. So I've got one, Narcisse Taiji, that I adore, and they're launching the new set, Figalia, that smells a bit like spinach. Yes, spinach. Also, I had no clue, but these guys are actually from Brittany, where I'm originally from. So that's... I need, I need to talk more about this brand. Also, Steve Martin Perfume, if you're seeking to talk about something ultra creative and a lot of attention to details, a lot of passion from this brand owner, it's absolutely amazing. Rule number eight, don't take it personal. If nobody wants to talk to you, <laughs> it happens. Uh, just change brief and try another one that is maybe more nice to you. Trust me, it happens. Rule number nine, if you want to stay in excellence during the full day, I do recommend you to leave to eat. So guys, this is the thing if you go to excellence, uh, you're sitting on the floor after uh, walking during ages, there's so many visitors and you have 20 seats to eat. So thank you so much. And we just paid 40 pounds for a salad that is dry as my soul with nothing in there and um, this cost six pound at tesco well i paid it 16. <laughs> definitely not eating there anymore rule number 10 essence is all about friendship so connect with your social media friends <laughs> Love this group of guys. Anyways, I did some interviews that I'm going to launch on Instagram so you will be able to see them in action. We also went to Kajal. That is the best place to connect with people. I have to say this is Ravi that presented us a lot of the fragrances. Yes, yeah. I guess I have it. Oh, you got a light down. So what yes. do you think? I think it's very like kind of soapy, like you just came out from the shower, yes. fresh, clean. This is your brunch with the girls, okay. uh, you go clubbing, mm -hmm. so it's way more playful, totally playful. One of the things that I love is that they are doing a water-based fragrance. I had no clue and there's a lot of things in Kajal that I want to keep my eyes on actually. Yeah. Oh, La Prairie, yeah. You know La Prairie. Yeah, of course, that's fancy. <laughs> that's fancy. Yeah. Pearls, yeah. The bigger pearls. So this is like a miniature version of those pearls. Ah, oh, okay. Interesting. So that's why it is called caviar. Ah, okay. Because they're little pearls. And actually, when you spray on skin, you can actually see the little pearls. Wow. Yeah, it's so cool. Yeah. It's another level of luxury. One of my favorite person in the YouTube game is Juan from Wele Me Mucho. I love this guy. I think his channel is so inspiring. He's actually holding one of that elixir bottle I just showed you uh, before. I love this fragrance. It smells like red wine. It's amazing. Anyway, 
connected with Mia as well that introduced me to her new fragrance line and this is gorgeous I can't wait to show you more about this we're so happy to see Joe as well so knowledgeable so fun and always so so kind I had especially always a nice time <laughs> what is Tony doing behind <laughs> <laughs> a nice time with Yana from the channel Tomilis. I think we just connect. I really love that girl. And I just love the fact that Edwin was constantly filming us from the back when we were talking to each other. <laughs> How cute is this, no? <laughs> and cannot not mention Mitra as well. It was so nice to see you. I was really looking forward to that. Rule number 11. Come with someone if you can you can always do it alone i did it alone and it's fine but if you want to have the most of the event it's always nice to come with someone to support you to help you when you're down especially me when my social batteries are really down i really need someone to help me a little bit and it was great to have uh, my partner edwin with me uh, to have a bit of a laugh and also to talk to the brand when I was down or to support a bit with the camera and stuff like that. It was really nice. Or just to have a nice evening together doing nothing. I cannot think anymore. <laughs> I'm gonna be hungover for a week after that, even if I didn't drink. No? Mm, no just the beginning. I smell in my body so many types of different fragrance. <laughs> it's so weird. I think I never hated perfume that much. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, let's get ready for a nice pizza! Pizza time! Finally! Yes! What do I wear? Not to what do you mean? Oh, you want to do after, or tomorrow morning? I may look at this ready, look. Some PR and cards that I need to send message to some brands that I really like. This is very interesting. I will talk about this like soon. These are boost for your fragrance to put behind, to have projection. Mm. It's great. We have all of this. Actually, um, the new fragrance du bois, Len fragrances, Lorenzo Pasaglia. So happy, I love them. Jeroboam, and guess what? This is my favorite of all time in here, guys. It's a massive bottle of Gozo, yes, and a massive bottle of Unue as well. Because why not? This is a guy that is doing TikTok. Strong style fragrances. Actually, these fragrances are pretty good. So um, we'll try it out. New Lorga Parfum. Look at this. This is really good. Place Delice is a brand I really want to review. Baby samples like this. Moroccan Iris. So cute. Adamo have a new collection coming in soon. So glad because you know how much I love this brand. Birkholz, that's a, apparently a very famous fragrance brand, but in Germany, so interesting. A lot of Jardin des Fleurs here, that's travel size bottle. Uh, this is the brand Mirad Parfum. This is especially by uh, Mia. And she does fragrances and they are intoxicating. Oh, yeah, <laughs> really good. Steppable have a new collection, the Chicago collection. I need to talk to you about this. Uh, but yeah, so far so good. And we have one day, one day more. This is the look. It's like a little bit vintage. A Negroni in Milan. <laughs> Rule number 12, you in Italy, enjoy the food. Heavy, but... Mm. Mm. No. See, it's just one piece. I cut it for you small It's too big. That's what she said. That's what she said. <laughs> 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 
Rule number 13, enjoy the parties. Of course, Essence is not just about the day, but there's many parties around that you need to attend. And this is one of the parties with Le Chardon Retrouvé that is launching that new fragrance. Always a bit of meditation. So what do you do in your garden? You resource, you recharge. Now I'm very happy to introduce you. Violet. So cool that they were directly filling up the bottle in front of us and signed by Maxence Mood that you can just see here, the perfumer and behind Michel, the owner of the brand. The first time I was alone and I went to all the parties and now that it's my full time work and stuff like that, I, I don't like, I can't do that anymore because if, if, I, if I go to bed and I do the parties like a bit late or I'm drinking a bit, the next day I'm hangover for three days. I'm out. I'm completely out. So I, I did religiously avoid all the parties. We've been to some uh, dinners uh, with brand, with, with some brand I like, for example, uh, with Edwin. Oh, we just been like a dinner together, just chilling in the evening and go to bed quite early because the day, trust me, is so intense. You walk so much, you talk so much. Well, at least for us, it was that. Rule number 14, if you want to get invited to party, that's really easy. Go and talk to content creators. <laughs> Find one and ask them. They know. Okay, so my overall experience has been positive or negative this year. I think that was the best, I would say, ex excellent experience because it was a little bit less stressful than the previous experience I had because I was really well prepared. Do I want to put myself through that stress next year? Uh, I think so. You're meeting so much people, so many different types of people from all over the globe. I see some people that I cannot see usually if I'm in London or to, or to other events. Uh, so I think I'm willing to do that again. Uh, it's a little bit harsh to be honest. In terms of uh, business for me, if I'm being honest with you, like uh, I reconnect with the brand I really love. I get to discover some other brand that I can review for you, fragrance that I don't like, fragrance that I like. Uh, but it's, it's great for my content actually because like I'm in London, I mean I'm lucky I discover so many brands but like over there like it's crazy, you have 360 brands. Uh, if, if you're not a content creator but just a fragrance lover, I would say you don't need more than two days. One day is not enough I think to me because it's, it's crazy, especially if you really want to discover a lot of things. I bring home a lot of fragrance, but it's not about the bottle of fragrance I'm going, not really. Like it's for me, it's really about discovering like some brands so I can make sure to have some content for you, some fresh brand to talk to, some interesting things. You know, I don't want to talk on this channel of the same thing all over and all over and give you the same top list all over the same and all over the same. I cannot do that. Like, I, like, I mean, I love to review like designer that you can find everywhere and some popular niche fragrances, sure. But I'm a fragrance passionate, you know, like I like to discover stuff that are blowing my mind. Otherwise, if I'm not stimulated, like creatively, like I'm just feeling depressed. So. <laughs> Uh, which is which is happening a lot, you know. So I, I feel I kind of need that as well to widen my eyes and look around. And I think for you guys, if you like fragrances, uh, it might do the same for you too. Like you might be like bored with your fragrances. Or there's some time, like, you no, know, even me, like I'm passionate of fragrances since so many years, but sometimes you just lose it because you're a bit depressed or you have this going on, this going on, and you're like, well, yeah, I've tried everything, you know, whatever. Um, but this kind of thing like really uh, light the fire again. I, I don't feel I needed it, but sometimes when you're doing, especially for me, like since even before I was creating content, I was working for Chanel in the fragrances. My life revolves around fragrances. And sometimes it's like, like you can't always be like 100% fragrances all your life. 
and sometimes you lose it you know and i think this kind of event to push my boundaries was really good okay guys i hope you enjoyed this little vlog that was a little bonus i would say on my channel and i will talk to you uh, on the next video of what brands really blew my mind and what fragrance you definitely need to try i've tried some really exciting stuff that i really want to uh, show off to you so stay tuned and see you soon bye now